The Top 11 Most Popular Haruki Murakami Books on Goodreads Haruki Murakami Is this big-shot Japanese writer who's not just famous in Japan, but all over the world? The guy writes like there's no tomorrow, tons of novels, essays, you name it. And get this, his books have been translated into so many languages, it's insane. Now, let's talk Goodreads. Haruki Murakami's book Norwegian Wood has racked up more than half a million ratings. And that's not all, 11 of his books have crossed the 100,000 ratings mark. So today's video? It's all about showcasing that the top 11 most popular Haruki Murakami books on Goodreads. Haruki Murakami Born in 1949, is like the rock star of modern literature. He's got this one-of-a-kind writing style that's super chill to read. He loves blending the everyday stuff, like going to the store, with crazy magical or weird moments. Like suddenly talking to a cat or jumping into a parallel universe. It's like he serves up everyday life, but with a twist of lemon, sometimes sour, sometimes sweet but always surprising. People love him for it, and he gets high praise from both critics and everyday readers. He makes you think deeply about life's big questions, love, loneliness, what it means to be human. You know, the stuff that keeps you up at night. And this guy isn't just popular in Japan, he's a global sensation. His books are available in more than 50 languages, and every new book from him becomes a big deal. Kinda like when a hot new Netflix show drops. So, if you haven't picked up one of his books yet, you're really missing out. Trust me, his stories will stick with you long after you've turned the last page. 1. Norwegian Wood Imagine you're a college kid in 1960s Japan, trying to figure out life, love, and everything in between. That's what this book is about. You'll follow Toru, a student who is torn between two very different women. It's emotional, real, and dives deep into feelings of nostalgia and loss. If you've ever felt stuck in love, this one's for you. 2. Kafka on the Shore Picture this. A teenage boy named Kafka runs away from home, and an elderly man talks to cats. Weird? Absolutely. But also fascinating. Their stories start separately, but slowly intertwine in the most mysterious ways. This book is like a puzzle. The more pieces you get, the more you want to complete it. 3. The Wind-Up Bird Chronicle So your wife is missing, and you might have to dive into a mystical, dark world to find her. This book mixes the everyday life of a guy named Toru with elements of magical realism. It's like a detective story, but with spirits, historical flashbacks, and other bizarre twists. It's a wild ride. 4. 1Q84, 1Q84, hashtag 1-3. Okay, so imagine Orwell's 1984, but make it weirder. It's set in Tokyo in 1984, but the characters soon realize they're in an alternate reality. You've got Aomame, a fitness instructor, who is also an assassin, and Tango, a writer embroiled in a mysterious literary scheme. Their lives become interconnected in this strange world, and things get really complicated, really fast. 5. Colorless Tsukuru Tazaki and His Years of Pilgrimage Ever wondered why your friends dumped you? That's what Tsukuru is trying to figure out. He goes on a sort of quest to find out why his close friends from school suddenly kicked him out of their circle. It's a story about friendship, but it's also a deep dive into personal growth and self-discovery. 6. What I talk about when I talk about running. This one's different, it's not fiction. Murakami himself talks about his experience with running marathons and how it connects to his writing. It's surprisingly motivational and gives you an insight into how he ticks. If you're into self-improvement or just curious about the man behind these books, you gotta read this one.
7. After dark. Imagine roaming the streets of Tokyo, from midnight till dawn. This book follows several characters through one night, showing you the city's hidden face. It's like a slice-of-life drama, but darker, more atmospheric. Picture it as a film that captures snippets of various lives intersecting. 8. Sputnik Sweetheart So, a girl is in love with another woman who's possibly abducted by aliens. Sounds bizarre, right? Well, their friend Kay narrates the whole thing and tries to make sense of it all. It's about love, loneliness, and the quest for understanding who you truly are. 9. Hardboiled Wonderland and the End of the World Think sci-fi meets fantasy with a dash of noir. One storyline feels like a detective thriller involving data encryption in the mind, while the other is about a man trapped in a walled city with unicorns. It's like two different books in one, but they brilliantly connect at the end. 10. A Wild Sheep Chase So you're a divorced guy, somewhat lost in life, and now you're hunting for a mythical sheep. Yes, a sheep. This book is odd, but in the most captivating way. It blends elements of a detective story, adventure, and even political satire. 11. South of the Border, West of the Sun What happens when your old flame walks back into your life? But you're already married? Hajime has to deal with this dilemma when his childhood sweetheart, Shimamoto, suddenly reappears. It's a story about life choices, old loves, and the past not taken. Hope this gives you a better feel for each book. Thanks for subscribing. Thank you for joining us in this literary journey if you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content. Until next time, happy reading.